Good morning, folks. Today we're going to take a look at modifying temperature situations in Siemens Apogee, which is the program we use for building automation at Olive Lab. We're going to enter the program and we're going to look at something called reports. Reports are used to modify parameters in the program and the parameters that we're going to modify today are the heating and cooling points in a particular room or for a particular heat pump. So as you can see right here we have our desktop and we're going to open up our Citrix receiver window here. We double click on the Citrix icon, the Citrix receiver desktop is going to open up and once we have that we're going to double click on the remote desktop application here. The remote desktop application logs us on to the server which houses the Apogee software. So let's click on that, let it load up, and we'll be presented with another log on screen for the remote server. Once we log on to that, we'll be able to access the actual Siemens program. So let's get on to that program here. Here's the remote server. In this case, it's RPWAPO02. That's the actual name of the remote server. We'll connect to it. And here we have our consent message and our log on screen appears. You add and place your normal the desktop for the remote server on the desktop remote server here on the left hand side do you see several icons one of which is the insight program another item that shows up with this particular application is some IT based programs which we're not going to be concerned with so you can double click to exit those programs. Going back to Insight here, we're going to double click to enter the Insight program, which is the Apogee building automation program for Siemens. Double click that and Insight loads up for us and it brings us to what they call the main screen. Additionally, as you can see, when you load up, it'll bring up any alarm notifications that are currently in process. We can just hit OK to acknowledge those and go back to our main screen. This main screen has a number of informations available on the front of it. On the left hand side are all your building systems. In the center are all your major alarm systems and on the right are your outside air conditions here and building alarm systems here. Down below, if we scroll down, we can see leak detectors, node alarms, and freezers and incubators. Those are other alarms we can take a look at, but we'll address right now. We're going to look at controlling temperature in a heat pump. So let's click on our second floor main graphic here double click it. It loads up our second floor main graphic. The graphic itself is color coded into different zones of control. Here this light green zone is the air handler number one zone. So the air handler number one on the roof controls this particular zone. So if you need to make a change in temperature here you're changing the parameters for control of air handler number one. Down here the orange section is air handler number two and we'll be controlling this area here with air handler number two. Over here the dark blue section is air handler number three which controls the GMP area and then this lighter blue green area here is controlled by heat pumps on the roof. This is the area today that we're going to change a parameter in. So in order to get access to this area, we're going to go ahead and double click it 
and it will bring up that particular graphic for that area. What you see here are the blue boxes which tell you the temperature in each of the rooms in the spaces in this area. As you can see, some of the rooms are fairly well temperature controlled, 69 degrees, 68, and then some of the temperatures are very low. The lower temperatures that you see here are in the GMP area, and they want to remain cold because they are wearing Tyvek suits in that area. Anyway, moving along, what we're going to do here is this area I'm circling right now this is a heat pump on the roof and we're going to open up the control screen for this particular heat pump and we're going to change the parameters for this temperature which is currently 73.25 degrees. So let's double click on this icon and it brings up the commander for this particular function. This commander screen that you see here just tells you what the thermometer is reading and what heat pump it's controlling here, heat pump number two, what room it's controlling is room 220, what the current value of the thermometer is, and what the current status of it is, and the current priority. Generally, you want to keep your priorities at none, and you have the option to change your priority, but we'll do that later on in another video. So let's go ahead and close this out. And in order to access the report, in fact, let's go up there and look at this right now. Along the top or the side of your screen, depending on how you have it set up, one of the icons here is called Report Viewer. Let me get this guy out of the way here. Let me minimize this so that we can get the enunciators to light up. This is your report builder screen, and this is your report viewer screen. The report builder screen we'll discuss in another video. Today we want to look at the report viewer screen. So what we do here is we'll go back to our heat pump number two that's this control thermometer we drag it click and drag it off to the side lightly and it pulls up the control screen for that particular heat pump what you see here is a graphic for the heat pump and the various different components in it it says that the fan is on the heating compressor is off the cooling compressor is off and here is the thermometer control right here. The temperature in the room is 73.25. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the controller functions, this is the heating compressor, and we're going to drag it up to the report viewer. And that's going to open up what they call a DOS report, which is a basic text report of the condition of this particular heat pump. And when we drag it up there, you see that the button becomes depressed. That means that that report is ready to view. You release your mouse button and the report opens up and begins to run. Right here at the top of it, it says the various different panels and they control heat pumps, air handlers, fans, and other things. This particular one, as you can see here at the top on the left hand side, is for heat pump number two. And with, if we scroll up to the top of this report, we're going to see that once again, as we saw earlier, this is for rooms 220. It's heat pump number two. And if you look at point number two, Point number two says that the application is 2274. Each particular device in the system has an application, and the applications are numbered according to what functionality they have. This particular heat pump has an application. Its number is 2274, and application 24 runs standard heat pumps. 
Additionally, in this report, as you scroll on down, you're going to see various different points like day cooling set point, day heating set point, night cooling set point, night heating set point, set point minimum, set point maximum, and others. The points that we're going to be primarily concerned with today are these daytime heating and cooling set points, which right now are 74 degrees for a cooling set point and 68 degrees for a heating set point. The way this application works is that when the room reaches a temperature of 74 degrees, it's going to turn on the cooling compressor and call for cooling. When the temperature drops to 68 degrees, the device is going to turn on the heating compressor and heat the room. These values, 74 and 68, are based upon another point in this report, which is point number 92. Let's scroll down here through the report and look at point number 92, which is the control set point. Point number 92 here is the control set point, that's what it's called, and we're attempting to control this room to 74 degrees. As you can see here below, the temperature in this room is 73.25. That's the reason neither the heat pump or the cooling pump were on. So if we were going to change the temperature in the room, we could either change the control set point and make it higher or lower, or we could change the heating and cooling set points to a different scale or different values. We could raise the cooling set point, which would say start cooling at a higher temperature, or we could lower the heating set point, which says turn on the heat at a lower temperature. Right now, what we'll do is we will change the control set point from 74 degrees down here to 73 degrees. In order to change a set point, you double click on that particular line to bring up a commander screen. Let's double click on it. And now a commander, global commander screen opens up. In the global commander, you have a screen here called, or a choice here called set value. The set value for that point is currently 74. What we're going to do is we're going to click in the box. We're going to type in 73 and then go down here to the command function and click on command. As you watch the command results section here, you saw that we just changed the temperature on heat pump from 74 to 73 degrees. Let's go ahead and close this guy out. Rerun the report. The icon here, the blue restart arrow, is the run the report again. We're going to click that. It's going to run this report again and report to us when the report finishes. Here at 92, we've changed the control set point for this heat pump to 73 degrees from 74 degrees. Now it will attempt to control the temperature to 73 degrees. That's pretty much as simple as it gets for changing temperature on a heat pump. Both the day and the night control set points here, pin point six and seven, they control what you call the dead band of the heating and cooling effects.